This used to be called the Long Bar in the Great Western Hotel. And at the moment, all the windows at the top there have all been smashed out and the tims are gone. So what we've done is we've sheet them over to make them watertight. And we're about to do temporary repairs on the flat roof up there to make that watertight. Once, the whole he once this whole area is watertight, then we can start sorting out the floor because it's totally rotted through because of all the rain that was in here. Some areas of the roof are very bad and will need a lot of work, even to make them temporary repaired. But before we could get on the main roof at the, up the top of the building, we had to shore the roof up. To do that, we had to shore up all the floors below it. Oh, what we've done, we had to use power tools in here, we had to run an electricity supply on extension lead right away from the Phoenix pub through the walls, through the palace, through the walls, and into this building. As you can see, the joists are all rotten here. So before we can shore the next floor up, we've had to shore up from ground stairs to this level, and from this level to the next level, and we've had to continue that all the way up to shore up the roof, because the roof had actually collapsed. But we couldn't put any extra load on these beams because these are rotted out. As you can see where some of the windows risk falling out into the street, we've taken them out so we can use them as templates to make new windows and then boarded the window areas up. The tree we have grown in the gutter, and as you can see from the roots, that's all that was holding the trees up there. A good strong wind or a bit more growth and they would have ended up down in Union Street. This is the final floor before the roof. As you can see there's steel beams going through and the steel beams are still quite solid so what we've done is we've fixed the other beams up there once again to hold the floor up and to jack up the areas in between because the beams up here are absolutely rotten, the joists are gone. So we've had to take the thing right across the whole side of the building to keep that area safe before we jack the roof up. So as you'll notice it's come up all the way from the top to the bottom. The bubbly you're about to see was growing in that little water gully along there, the valley there, see it? The only thing holding it up was that guttering. What you see there, that's what we have to remove. Deadly bit falling down the Union Street. Once again, India, these joists have completely come away from the wall plates while hanging down at a 10 degree angle. So, before we could get on the roof and attempt any repairs, these had to be supported. And that's why we had to bring the whole supports up from the ground floor just to keep it so we can jet this piece up into the air. As you can see in this one, the joists, again, are totally right out. All because people nick the flashings off the roof. The whole building and next door are completely full of rubbish. And uh, what we're asking, whether the council will be good enough to let us tip this uh, free of charge or at discounted rate to help the charity out. As you know, the council is so interested in seeing this building back in use. Um, Perhaps they might be kind enough to give us some assistance. That wall had totally collapsed and it's bringing the rest of the wall down with it. So we've had to put new stonework in there and rebuild it again and that goes back nearly three foot. Right, when it used to rain outside, the rain used to come right through the ceilings and run down this stairway like a small waterfall. As you'll see now, it's now dry, even though it's thunderstorms outside. Below this floor, there's 
and have a bar and dressing rooms and that for performance. But we can't get there because as you'll see, the water in the cellar comes up this far. Jesus. So the fire brigade have kindly consented to come and pump it out for us. Can you want to suggest forum effect as it were? Throw something in here? Yes. Yeah, I've got a bit of it here. But you ready? You ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And that goes down another floor. Yeah. Good God. Is that pure rainwater or is it? Yeah, that's how much the room not was leaking. That's, I mean, that's thousands, millions of, of uh, cubic. I don't know the size of the stuff downstairs. I knew, I knew the plan for was downstairs. I could work it out for you in cubic metres and a tonnage, but. So you could read about it this place as, a, as an indoor swimming pool. <laughs> Right, all these windows are blacked out and boarded over before. Um, so we can inspect the frames and everything else to see they're okay and make sure they're watertight. We took all the building down, cleaned a lot of the black off, but that also gives us the benefit of some light in this room. Because before you couldn't see anything in here. You'll notice from the rubble on the floor, once again, once it rained outside, it literally poured through the ceiling. But now, as you'll notice, it's all drying out, so it's no longer leaking. Therefore, no more damage. This is how it's grown on the roof. All right. This is all the stuff growing up on the roof here. The valley down there had all this lot growing out of it. And it now looks like this. That's because people have nicked all the lead flashings. That area there covers the back of the stage and that had all been taken off and gone. That's all been flat roofed again. Same with the other side and all the valleys have been dug out and temporary valleys been put in there so they don't leak down into the stage area anymore. Once again because somebody's nicked all the lead. Right, once you see now the valleys are all clear so the waters can run down and instead of going down through the building, they go out through the drainage. All this area is overgrown with budlia, as you can see from the valleys here. It had gone down behind the, the flashings and the water was running down straight into the building. That's all now been cleaned out and resealed. We're in the process of pushing it all back and sealing it so it becomes watertight. The last bit we'll do is that bit there. we we'll use that to get in and out from the roof. This whole section here had collapsed and was missing. That's why we've had to shore this all up before we could get up here. I didn't want anybody disappearing through the roof. So that's all been shored up and is now watertight. This is the roof there of the atrium of the Great Western Hotel, which we see from the inside just now. As you can see, this was totally overgrown with budlia. It has gone down through the roof and all the glass was missing from the panels. So what we've done is we've sealed the panels up around the side with polystyrene and rendering. And we're actually in the process of removing the budlia so we can make the actual roof itself watertight.